Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, we are going to talk about how to perform selective harmonic elimination in MATLAB. So let's get started. This is a circuit diagram of a three phase voltage source inverter. I have already uh, performed the simulation of three phase voltage source inverter in 180 degree mode uh, in one of our previous video. So I will be extending that and how to perform selective harmonic elimination for this particular circuit is what I am going to demonstrate today. So in case you have not watched that video, please do watch it and uh, this will be a continuation of how to perform harmonic elimination now for this particular circuit. So the link will be provided in the description. So uh, this is a circuit diagram without a filter. Now what we'll be doing is we'll be adding a filter. This is a double tuned filter. So this is connected across uh, phase A. Similarly, it should be connected across phase B and phase C. But one of the most advanced features that are available in MATLAB is that you will directly have uh, a feature called as harmonic filter. And uh, in that you can directly set the part particular harmonic that needs to be eliminated. So you can perform that directly. I'll be demonstrating that in MATLAB. So let's go to MATLAB. All right, here we are. So uh, previously, as I already mentioned, please do watch uh, our video of uh, performing uh, the, the simulation of a three phase voltage source inverter operating in 180 degree mode. Once that is done, click on run. Let's check the output waveform at the first place. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, with respect to uh, line voltage is what we are measuring here. So this is the output waveform of uh, the line voltage. So it is a quasi square wave. That is, you'll only get two steps over here, one in this direction one in the negative direction so we are getting the right output so what should be done is that uh, we will be uh, changing few things in this particular circuit first thing is we need a current measurement block so search for current measurement uh, block so over here you will be right away getting uh, this block over here add this block as well so once this is done you need a harmonic filter uh, to perform selective harmonic elimination so search for harmonic filter you have three phase harmonic filter so add this block as well so uh, this this saves a huge amount of time because we don't have to uh, draw the circuit diagram for having capacitor, inductor, resistor and all those things. So this will uh, reduce our time in a greater aspect. So that's the reason why this is really helpful for us. So current measurement block is placed at this point. So carefully observe, I am going to remove this terminal and I'm going to connect the ammeter across uh, phase A and I'm going to enclose the circuit at this point and connect this to this particular area. So uh, the reason why I'm doing is this current is usually measured when connected in series with a load, isn't it? So I'm considering only with respect to phase E and I'm connecting it uh, in series with a load. Now uh, what will be done is that I will be commenting this out. Uh, I'll show you what is the THD without uh, filter and then let's try to eliminate a particular harmonic. So uh, before that, uh, one of the most important thing, if you're using a latest version of MATLAB, go to model configuration parameters and um, ensure that uh, there is a feature called as uh, uh, single simulation output Ens ensure that this is unchecked because at times what happens is that uh, when you are looking at the output and uh, running it the data will not be logged into the FFT window so that is one of the most commonly uh, involved uh, uh, mistakes that is uh, taking place because students are not getting the uh, right output uh, in the FFT window or they are not able to see the input uh, corresponding to what is required in the FFT window because of this so ensure that this is uh, disabled uh, this is only in the latest versions of MATLAB so be very careful with that now what we'll be doing is we'll be running this and let's look at the output now and also look at uh, what is the THD so over here uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, separating this in uh, two particular uh, portions so if you carefully observe over here so this is the voltage waveform and uh, you see the current slightly increasing and decreasing at this particular portion. So uh, we have to zoom in to exactly see what is the current flowing through, but there is some amount of current that is flowing through. So uh, what we are going to do is in this window, there is a uh, something called as configuration properties and uh, go to logging and uh, ensure that log data to workspace is enabled and give the name of your variable that you want to see over there. So click on OK. And once that is done, uh, close this, go to PowerQ block, go to uh, tools and uh, select FFT analysis. Over here, uh, you will be seeing the name of your waveform and the input is with respect to two for us. This is because our current is at uh, the second scope over here. So uh, one of the most important things to remember is always harmonic analysis should be performed with respect to current, whether it is source current or load current, it depends on the uh, 
place where you are actually performing harmonic analysis in this you are converting dc to ac so three phase ac is a coming across the output so that's the reason why we will look at the load current if it is a rectifier we will be looking at the source current so it's always with respect to current remember this point uh, because students often tend to make mistakes in uh, uh, selecting the type of uh, uh, with respect to uh, the signal it is sometimes they choose voltages and all and that should not be done so uh, THD total harmonic distortion if you carefully observe over here uh, this is with respect to 50 Hertz change the fundamental frequency to 50 Hertz and uh, choose this uh, list relative to fundamental uh, this gives you a clear picture of looking at each of these harmonics that are there total total harmonic distortion in this case for the circuit is 36.23 percent and uh, uh, if you carefully observe I am going to only reduce fifth and seventh harmonic so look at the 5th and 7th harmonic 5th harmonic is 20.61% and 7th harmonic is 13.77% and the total THD is 36.23% so uh, have a screenshot of this uh, we'll reduce it and see what will be our uh, total harmonic distortion so uh, I will be uncommenting this out uh, and I will be connecting this across the three phases that is A with respect to A and B with respect to B and C with respect to C you can individually do this as well uh, by uh, constructing a circuit diagram with uh, inductor and capacitors um, in this particular fashion but it should be done for each and every phase so I'll be double clicking on this uh, there are certain parameters that I will be changing over here according to uh, my design so I will be selecting this to be 10,000 and uh, the frequency is chosen to be equal to 50 Hertz uh, the nominal power that I will be choosing is uh, 70,000 1 2 3 4 and 5 e power 3 so this is the uh, nominal reactive power so this will be the reactive power that you are injecting in the circuit in order to eliminate the harmonics so if you are doing it separately with respect to inductor and capacitor uh, the values should should be designed according to this reactive power so how to design that there is a book called as beam sing you can refer to that that's a great book that um, gives you an uh, uh, idea of how to design these filters lnc value but in matlab there is a feature that automatically uh, eliminates that particular harmonic by in injecting suitable amount of reactive power for your circuit so I'll be changing the quality factor uh, to be equal to 0 0.01 in this circuit so uh, overall these are the parameters my frequency is with respect to 50 Hertz that's why I've changed it to 50 I am going to reduce fifth and seventh harmonics so this is called as selective harmonic elimination a particular harmonic I'll be selecting and I'll try to reduce it or I'll try to completely eliminate it based on the nominal uh, power reactive power and quality factor that you're including in the circuit so now what is being done is I'll click on OK um, and then now I'll run it let's now uh, perform a 50 analysis and check what is the uh, amount of total harmonic distortion that we are getting uh, accordingly since we are injecting reactive power the waveforms also will change the nature of waveforms as how it looks like will again change if you carefully observe the waveform over here it is clearly it was a square wave now you are approximately getting it uh, to be a sinusoidal wave although there are uh, harmonics we have to further reduce them by designing a suitable filter but um, but there are certain harmonics uh, uh, but the nature of waveform from square is converted into sinusoidal so ideally we need a sinusoidal waveform isn't it so that is our important aspect uh, in respect with respect to design so click on FFT analysis and uh, go to input 2 that is our input with respect to the current and uh, check display so over here previously we were getting 36 percent as total harmonic distortion now it is greatly reduced to 27 percent so uh, if you carefully observe fifth and seventh harmonic the fifth harmonic here is 5.79 previously we had a different value which is greater than 10 percent isn't it again seventh harmonic was very high now it is reduced to 3.96 percent similarly you can reduce third harmonic uh, as well by suitably designing uh, the reactive power and uh, uh, how to choose the reactive power value and how to choose the quality factor the design procedure is there in a book called as beam sync so you can search for it power quality techniques in beam sync so you can search for it and you can uh, do perform selective harmonic elimination individually for any circuit for that matter I have only given you a demo of how it can be done for a three phase voltage source inverter but however this can be done with respect to rectifiers as well based on the uh, design that you would like to select so that's it for today Today. if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me by typing in your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching this video keep supporting thank you